In this video, we're going to write a C program for printing out a heart. So we're going to print out hearts like this, and we're going to print them out programmatically in the sense that we're going to have some heart size variable, and we're going to print out different size hearts based on that variable. We'll write for loops to print out different portions of the heart, and we can split it up into different portions like this. We could say that this here is a triangle that's essentially pointing downwards. And we'll have some logic to print out this triangle. We'll also have some logic to print out these two semicircles up here, as well as the gap between the semicircles and the gap between the edge here and the first semicircle. So let's write some code. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user for the size of the heart and store it into a variable. So we'll say int size is equal to zero, printf, enter size to prompt the user. We'll take the size they enter and we'll store it into the size variable. And we'll print out a new line before we begin our heart. Now the first thing we'll do because it's easiest is print out this downward facing triangle. So we'll say here for int i is equal to size. i is greater than or equal to one i minus minus. And basically this outer loop here is going from size all the way to one, decrementing by one each time. And it's gonna be the logic for printing out each row. Now we're gonna to have to actually print out each row using two inner loops inside of this outer loop. And the first loop is gonna print out the number of spaces that should be on that row. And the second inner loop is gonna print out the number of stars that should be on that row. And those will look like this. We'll say for int j is equal to i. j is less than size, j plus plus, printf, a space. And then for int j is equal to zero, j is less than or equal to i times two minus one, and then j plus plus, and then here we'll print out the star. And then after each row, we're also gonna print a new line so that the next row begins on the next line. So if we look at this first inner loop here, i is initially going to be size in the first iteration of this outer loop. And that's what we want because this first row here is all stars. We want no spaces. So when i is size, this loop is initially not gonna print out any spaces. But as i decreases in the future, this loop will start printing out more and more spaces as we go down each row. And that's exactly what we want. And if we look at this loop here, we're taking j from zero up until about twice the size of i. But i is gonna be decreasing each time in its outer loop. So here, this for loop is gonna initially print basically double i, double size. So initially, this first row here is gonna have double the amount of stars as we have rows in this upside down, downward facing triangle here. Now as i decreases, we're gonna print out a decreasing amount of stars because j is gonna be going up until a smaller and smaller number, giving us this decreasing amount of stars here as we go down each row. So let's give this a test to see if we're printing out this downward facing triangle first. So we'll save this, run it. Let's put in say eight. And it looks like we have a nice downward facing triangle now. Now let's print out the semicircles. So we're gonna have a similar logic here in the sense that we're gonna have an outer loop and then several inner loops. So the outer loop is gonna be responsible for printing out the rows of the semicircles. And we're gonna have four inner loops 
for printing out the different segments that make up these semicircles. So we'll have an inner loop for printing out this gap here between the edge and the first semicircle. We'll have a loop for printing out the first semicircle on the left. Then another loop for printing out this gap between the semicircles. And then finally, one more loop for printing out the second semicircle. So let's work on this now. The outer loop will look like this. We'll say for int i is equal to size divided by two, i is less than or equal to size, i plus equals two. So here what we're doing is we're making the semicircle about a quarter of the size of the number of rows that we've got in the downwards facing triangle, just to proportion the heart nicely. So we take size and we divide it by two. And we also increment i by two. So taken together, this semicircle portion of the heart will have about one quarter of the amount of rows of the downward facing triangle. And that's just because a heart is roughly proportioned that way. Now our first inner loop to print out that gap will look like this. We'll say four int j is equal to one. j is less than size minus i, j plus equals two, and then we'll print out a space, and then we'll print out the left semicircle with this loop. So we'll say four int j is equal to one, j is less than or equal to i, j plus plus, and we'll print f a star. And then we'll make the gap between the two semicircles with this loop. So we'll say four int j is equal to one, j is less than or equal to size minus i, and then j plus plus, and then we'll print f a space here. And then finally, we'll print out the right semicircle. And that will actually look identical to this. We can copy and paste this and put it here. And then finally, when we're done printing out each row, we're going to print out a new line. So that way the next row begins on the next line. So here we'll say printf backslash n to give us a new line. And the logic for these inner loops is somewhat similar to the logic for our downward facing triangle. So this loop here and this loop here that are responsible for printing out the spaces, they are both going to print out less and less spaces as time goes on with iterations of this outer loop. Because in this outer loop here, we're going to take i from size divided by two all the way up to size. And if we look at these loops here, they take j from one up until j is less than size minus i. Well, as i approaches size, as we increase i in this outer loop, that's going to have the effect of printing out less and less spaces. Now, in the case of this loop here, we're printing out the spaces between the edge and the first semicircle. In the case of this loop here, we're printing out the spaces between the two semicircles. And you'll notice in this loop here, we increment j by two, whereas in this loop here, we increment j by one. And that's because we need more spaces in this gap than at the edge. If we look here, we've got one, two spaces here. And then one, two, three, four spaces here. And then there would be two spaces here. We don't actually need to print out two spaces on this right hand side. We can just leave it blank and have the same effect. But you notice that this gap here is basically twice the size of this space here between the edge. That's why this loop here is printing out twice the amount of spaces by only incrementing j by one instead of two. And then these loops here that print out the semicircles, they go from j is equal to one all the way up to j is equal to i by one. Now i in this outer loop is going from size divided by two all the way up to size. So this is gonna have the effect of printing out larger and larger semicircle rows each time in this outer loop as i increases and these for loops 
go up to larger and larger numbers in terms of the amount of stars they print out. Now eventually, when i is equal to the size here, we're going to be printing out two times size amount of stars because we have two loops both going up to size here. That's going to have the effect of printing out enough stars to meet the base of our triangle here. Because in this outer loop here, we start with i being equal to size, and here we print out j0 up until size times 2 minus 1 amount of stars. So it's going to have the effect of printing out enough stars in this triangle base to match the semicircle portion of this heart as well. So let's try this out now. We'll save and run our program. And we'll try to print out a heart of size 8. So we'll say 8. And we get a pretty nice looking heart there. We'll try it with size 11. And again, that's a pretty nice looking heart there. So that's how we can print out a heart in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.